Hello everyone, welcome back to WebDementors YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. In this video, we're going to see about adding footer to our website and adding some styling so that it looks much better. So before getting into it, let me show some of the changes that I have done to my coding. So I have added some comments to state that where a particular component in my website begins and where it is ending. And also I have given it some structure so that I can find it easily. So I have added some indents to each element in my HTML so that the parent element that is the parent tag is outside and the inner elements are sent a little bit inside with an indent. So let's get on to the main part of this video. I'm going to add the footer in here. So before that I'm going to add the comment for it. So start of the footer. And I'm going to end the comment with end of the footer just to mark that this is the block where I'm going to have my footer in. So I'm going to create a footer now with the footer tag. So this is going to be my footer and I'm going to add some random text to it. This is my footer. So now let's see how it looks in my website. So this is my footer and uh, this is where it is getting added in. So this is something that we've just added so there is no styling in it and it's going to be very simple. So now in order to make it look good I have to add some styling. So we have already seen how to add some manual styling. We have already seen that how we have added a class to my uh, components in the HTML with no margin and no padding. So we have already created a style.css file in our CSS folder. Here it is and we have created two classes that the no margin or no padding to remove margin and padding from our HTML element. So in order to add some style to my footer, I'm going to create a class for my footer as site footer. So now I'm going to create this site footer in my styling with some CSS properties. First thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a background color for it. I'm going to apply the same background color as of header and let's see how it looks. Well, this is where my footer is. And my text is not visible because the background color and the text color are pretty much the same. So I'm going to give white as my background, sorry, text color. And here it is. Now it is visible. So I have a small gap underneath the footer and also this content is very close to the footer so I have to give some gap before the content and also this text inside the footer is also starting right after the beginning of the footer so I have to have some gaps in order to make it look good so first I'm going to add a margin to the top of my footer like 30 pixel and I also I'm going to add some padding to my footer to make it look good. So this is going to actually send it down and also have a gap. Now there is a gap underneath this footer as I said earlier and also this is at the end of the left side so that I don't want and also I need to remove this gap underneath. So what I'm going to do is very simple just add so if you want to bring the text or any part of your HTML or website to the center or have some gap to the left side or around it just add a div with the class container and that's going to do a lot of work for you that's it now my footer is pretty much ready but of course we have to add a lot of things and also have to add a lot of stylings so now I'm just structuring it so now I'm going to do a little more before I get into the major part of it. I'm going to create two rows. One is going to be pretty much the direct row that we use in our main content. And, uh, and this is going to act as my top row. I'm also going to add another division. And I'm going to give a class to it as bottom footer. So I need a bottom footer because you have seen, you might have seen 
that in some website there are some copyright information about that website and also some links to the main part of the website so we're going to do that part in the bottom footer so I'm going to add two columns class column MD5 and also another column to fill up the entire rest of the footer as 7 so this actually does it so now I'm going to add some copyright information about the website just some random content sorry about that and here it is and we're going to add some links for our website so I'm going to use the unordered list UL and add the regular list item we're going to add the anchor tag for each of this element just not completing it and do for multiple elements I'm going to add three links one is the index.html which is the home page blog.html that we have created in order to show how to create co multiple columns or nesting columns and all so blog and we are going to create a contact.html where I'm going to show you how to add form elements and then finally just some random link.html for nothing actually so now I'm going to refresh the page and this is how it looks so, so I'm going to add some styling to this bottom before I'm getting to the top of it so let come to the bottom footer and I'm going to add some margin and stops and for that margin top 10 pixel I think it's enough and padding top 10 pixel this is going to do a lot of work and uh, also I'm going to add some color so that it is different so just let's make it some gray color and I'm so I'm going to create a border on the top border top one pixel solid and the same color so this actually does a lot of work in here so I have added a border in here so now this is how it looks actually and I have to make sure that these are in the same line so we use inline for that so for that I'm going to add a class to my another list it is footer nav so now I'm going to use that class as footer nav space li and we're going to add display sorry inline this is going to do the rest of the work but again there's a little bit problem in here so we're going to correct it soon so I'm going to add something like foot nav for the main thing and I'm going to align the text to the right side so that my links go to the right side and also I don't want any list style of course and very important thing I just want gap in each but let's see okay this is good and now I want to add some padding between each padding 10 pixel maybe okay I don't want the pixel first so 0 pixel and 10 pixel yep there's enough gap but again this looks so bad without any kind of styling so I'm gonna add some style like I'm just going to add a block before everything so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a lie before and all I'm going to do is that content and this that's it and 
this okay that guy made some mistake in here I didn't add the nav so now if I refresh it yep you can see that but of course there's no gap in here so I'm going to take this padding and cut it put it in here so that this is applied properly yep it's applied properly now and it looks okay but I don't want this first line because this is the first uh, link so I'm going to remove that how are we going to do that so we're going to use some CSS advanced properties like not the first child so this is what it means actually not the first child of this element so now I'm going to remove the content from the first element yep that's it so you can add more uh, by adding some properties to that I don't want that blue color for the anchor tag so I'm going to do like put a nav a and sorry I'm going to add the color as white no I'm just gonna add it as b2 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 and this will actually create this so the link again uh, you can actually do like on hover stuff footer nav a hover and this is going to add like color white so this good and to give some white color background and I'm just going to remove Whoa. the underline that is uh, going to be the text decoration and I'm going to use none so now when I hover you're just going to see the color changes not the underline so this actually makes up a lot of work so now I'm going to come back to my footer area so I'm going to create the same five column space I'm going to add some address to my website so just address and we're going to add some number the street of place city of place and country so when I refresh it I'm gonna see that it's not proper because of the reason that it is not coming down so I'm gonna use break tag on each line and this is going to give me a structured address so this actually makes it let me add a title you can add a lot of manual or custom styling for each of thing so that is going to be contact address and that's going to be it so this makes a lot of sense of course you can change the color to this color itself uh, because it's too white so we have done a lot today in this video we have added footer and we have added a bottom footer as well we also learned a lot about uh, how to use custom stylings in our own page so footer has a lot of things to do and we can do a lot of things to our website using the custom uh, stylings so that's the end of this video thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll be getting back to the footer section again for doing a lot more stuff but uh, in order to create a footer for our websites to make sure that it is looking like a website we have done this video before finishing a lot of stuffs in the bootstrap if you like this video please subscribe and share this video and if you have any kind of comments suggestions feedbacks doubts or issues please use the comment section in the video or contact us in our facebook page or twitter handle we will try to help you as much as possible thank you for watching this video and keep learning bootstrap thank you